Um, yeah, hello. So today we are learning how to speed up our U torrents. One thing, first thing you want to do is go to preference. Okay, right now it says that's because it's paused. I actually did one earlier with fraps and it did not work at all. Okay, 63,470 is a really good port for me. I like it. Have all of these. Don't do that because it's switch your port like every time. Leave this up for a little bit. Okay, why would you want to like limit your upload rate? Don't know why. Use multiples of 8. Fat, the slower you do 64, faster you'd be 128. Faster you'd be 256 for this one. Then for this one, you have want to have all of these checked except for this one right here. For outgoing, you want to have enabled, not forced, because if your ISP doesn't let you do like download stuff, then it opens up. If IP doesn't let you download stuff, forcing it through won't help it because then it'll st like slow it down by a lot. Because trying to force it through something, it won't let it go through. So just hit enabled. Um, so, wait, thing I missed something. I might have missed something. I don't know. Oh, for queuing. Okay. I only have these set like this. You can set these to whatever you want, but the more that you're downloading at one time, the slower your speed would be, obviously. Put this to 500% because to download faster, you have to share, upload, seed, seed. I know seeding's boring. It's going to kill you. But uh, li don't, why would you limit your seeding if you want to download faster? Um, so I just do five times as much as my downloads. I basically upload this whole file five times. Um, so that's what I do. Then advanced, put BT, allow same IP true. Turn this to 64 or 50. Um, let's see what other ones I have changed. Right here. This one, put that on false. This is how fast like the screen right here like refreshes. That's like every two seconds I have it. You can change it depending on your RAM of your computer, so I can change it like to like every half second. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now. See, it's like always constantly changing. It takes up more RAM and CPU on your computer, but I have eight, eight gigs of RAM, so I'm okay. And I'm using anything else. Um, put this on 120, and this on 30, because if you have an RSS, or if you actually, I don't think anyone really uses one. But what you do is you got to, if it's like 15 seconds, which is average, normal, like when default, uh, it's opening it up, refreshing it every 15 seconds, then closing it. That uses up some of the bandwidth, so put it on 30 or higher. That's 30 seconds. And notice it set, then apply. Then this might take a while to start up again. But I was averaging at like 3.6 gigabytes, not gigabytes, but megabytes per second. See, I'm at one. And plus, it it depends on seeds, like on the seeders. So if you want to help other people download faster, you've got a seed. Okay, now it's probably gonna end before. No, I got seven minutes. Uh, bandwidth allocation put high. This might not. This might be set unlimited when you put. Yeah, it's probably set unlimited. See here, here. And something else that helps is if you go like this, right click priority and put them on high. That helps. Um, so basically, yeah, if you want to download faster, you've got to upload your stuff. So yeah, that's kind of how this stuff works. If you want to get download more, you have to upload more. more. You know, it, it, people don't notice that, but seeding does help you download faster. Although it uses some to upload it, your bandwidth and all that stuff. But you know what? It, this will help you guys a lot who don't understand it that much. And if you guys want more tutorials, just drop a like, comment if you want more tutorials for different things. And now it's going up right now. Let's just see if it'll go up right now. Right now, see, that's just enough proof right here. Because normally I download at like 700 kilobytes without doing something about it. Sorry, my family's in the background. But I usually download 700 kilobytes without doing something about it. And this is Skyrim, and that's Far Cry 3. But anyway, so yeah, um, drop a like, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want. It helps me a lot, because I really need subs bad. 
and I'm bringing you like the latest tutorial of the last one uploaded like four months ago so you guys should be happy and it was for for 3.1.3 I think it was so thanks guys for watching